when I think about balance, I think about still water. Now that water is going to be interrupted by maybe a stone thrown in. That stillness is the place where you're able to make comfortable decisions. Now I'm not always in balance, none of us are, but I strive to be. When I'm not in balance, there's a little bit of chaos going in my head and my body, things I can't figure out that hinder me from accomplishing what I need to accomplish. And so it's not that we're striving to be in a constant state of balance, but rather we know when we are in balance, we recognize when something throws us out of balance. Physical fitness and nutrition are the two greatest ways to begin discovering balance in your life. When I run, I'm thinking about my cardiovascular system. I'm thinking about my breathing, my respiratory system. I'm thinking about my mentality. Because sometimes I think I can only run two miles, but you know what, I can really run four. By running, I could literally figure out where do I need balance? Is it in my mind? Is it in my breathing? Is it in my cardiovascular, in the way my blood is pumping? Is it muscular? Are my joints hurting? Are my knees hurting? Are certain muscles hurting? I've asked myself a lot of the wrong questions and done things the wrong way and learned how to ask myself the right questions. By moving, we're doing what the body is meant to do and the body is happy and healthy and in more balance simply because of that. An unhappy body is when you go to get up in the morning and decide to hit your snooze button instead. Because you're just not ready to start that day. Maybe you'll never be ready to start that day. Because your body's in chaos. You're out of balance. A lot of times people are walking around with a fog over them that they don't even know they have. And by creating this balanced lifestyle, by putting proper nutrition and proper physical fitness in, it's just going to create another level and another level that you didn't even comprehend existed to begin with. Before, you didn't even know you could run a mile. Now you're thinking, how am I going to get to that 10 mile run? How am I going to get to that 20 mile run? And it's by starting with creating balance in your life. I believe in you because I thought that it was impossible for me to get back to balance. And you know what? I still struggle with feeling out of balance, but I know how to ask myself the right questions to get myself back to that place of balance. And I'm therefore confident that I can get you there as well. I'm finding balance in my life, and I wanna help you find balance in yours.